here's an example of what I want you to work on. We're going to make this male dancer and use our tools to do that. Um, and I want to show you how. So this is just to give you an inspiration. So what I want you to do is make a new page, place the male dancer on the page, make him fill the page, right? I'm going to take my layers, my artboards. All right, I'm going to take this layer, lock it, make a new layer. Once you make a new layer, then you can start to make a shape. And you can't make too wild of a shape um, because the words won't fit in it very well. So I'm going to kind of loosely do it. Then I'm going to take my typing tool and I'm going to type hat. And I will make that really bold, make it much larger. Now what you want to do is colorize the hat the color you want the, the type to be now. So I'm going to pick a gray. I'm going to take my hat shape I made, bring it to the foreground, select both of these items, go under Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object, and voila! There's my hat. Now if I hide my layer, you can see it's a little hard to read. So what I'm going to do is undo it. I'm going to move this around just slightly and see if that will make a better effect. Nope, not really. So I'm going to change the font. Let's try impact and Move this over here. Again, bring this to the front, select them both. Object, envelope, distort, make with top object. All right, so we'll go with that for now. You can go back and do that later. So if you want to do his hair, again, you have to keep things a bit loose. This might be even too much, so we'll have to play with this to see the effect. And I can say hair. You're not going to want to use like a Times or a Helvetica or something along those lines. Um, they're not going to hold up as well. Make it kind of a dark brown. Bring this to the foreground. Select both of these. Object. Envelope distort. Make with top. Now I can do his face. And you don't have to use these words. Obviously you can use any word you want. I'm just trying to give you a basic idea. And I'll say face. I am going to make that kind of a skin tone color, so I'll just sample that right here. Oh, it got grabbed the gray. Um, let me move this for a sec. Well, I can get skin tone from his arm, I guess. Okay. And I'm going to bring this to the foreground. I have face. So you can keep doing this. So this would be his sleeve over here. And you can put sleeve and it's dark gray, black, so I can just leave it this color, I guess. Bring it to the front. I have a sleeve. When you get into the scarf, I would break this into pieces. And and I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that shades of purple, I think. And put that here. Foreground. So you can see this doesn't take a terribly long length of time to do, but I do want you to do a good job with this. This, believe it or not, is a good portfolio piece. So I hope that you will take this assignment seriously. Oh, did it again. Okay, let me use a different color purple. 
these different shades. Kind of really similar to the other one. Let me see what else do I have here. How about this one or this one? Kind of put it in the middle, bring it up to the foreground. Oops. And I've got the bottom part of the scarf here. In. And what color do I want this part of the scarf? Let's see, where did I go? From here to here to here. So we'll use this part. Bring this to the foreground. Okay. So this is what I have so far. So remember, this is kind of what we're going for. So put as much detail in it as you can. Uh, it will give more of a realistic effect that somebody could tell that this was a guy dancing. So make sure that it is recognizable and have fun.